Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Drying Lake. Once again, I screwed up during the recording of this episode and managed to lose my audio. However, since I still had the footage, what I decided to do is have a little play-by-play -play summary of what happened in the last episode. Just that when we start the new one after this, you will be all caught up. So, we rescued Strayed, he laughed. We talked to Macduff, he laughed. We ended up fighting a pursuer who had a little bit of an explosion uh, leading to his untimely demise. We found out that this bonfire is accessible a lot earlier. However, the fog gate to the ruined sentinels is not accessible for some reason. You can't backdoor this. I ended up finding another pursuer. Drop down on the ruined sentinels with the help of Alva, who's actually a shade. And finally, I fought another pursuer. Lots of pursuers were present in this episode. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tales of Drang Lake. Uh, let's get back into the game. As I promised in the last episode, I jumped back to Majula because we need to level up 31k souls. That's quite a few levels actually. Uh, I think I'm gonna spread these out a little bit among my stats. Let's just have balance here. Obviously this is going to be sort of dex focused, this build. It's just the nature of... Um, the weapons we are using, but it's not all decks. You know, the York Spear is kind of a bit of both. And I think what I'm also going to do is... Actually, I don't have as many consumable souls as I thought. Uh, and it's fairly easy to use them in this game, luckily. I'll check the boss souls once I have Orn effects unlocked as well. But actually, no, I don't really need to, do I? Because I know what weapon I'm going for. Uh, let's see if this gives us another... Just one more... Level. Shit, I should be... I completely forgot. I should be increasing my vitality as well a little bit. Because the York Spear is pretty heavy. And I do want to, you know, cosplay a little bit. So we will need to pick out our... Um sort of equipment yeah okay well I think sort of the time has come to start heading towards the what's his name the lost sinner her name I should say we could go to the tower and the side area but I think we'll leave that for a little bit later I don't want to I don't want to do that just yet. I thought the fog gate was there for a second. I was like, what the fuck? That would have been pretty strange. So, the thing we need to figure out is whether there is an actual bonfire near the sinner's area, because if there isn't, that's going to be mad annoying, actually. The other thing I'm not sure of is I have no idea why the fuck I'm coming this way when I have Strayed's cell unlocked, so... Yeah, just ignore me. This shouldn't take too long, and at least I can see whether I missed any treasures. I don't think I did. You can knock this shit off just always hits me. Uh, doesn't do anything else. So yeah, by the way, yeah, as you saw from the start of this video, sorry about the last episode. I'm kind of pissed about it too because I feel like I got some good commentary. Uh, and it was a fun episode, so... It's a bit of a shame it turned out that way, but... Hey. Once in a while, mistakes are gonna happen, unfortunately. It's just the nature of recording, you know. What I'm doing now is trying to avoid 
another such miss. What the hell? Why they weren't there before? As in, there was no sniper. Oh, whatever. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, this weapon is just so much more powerful than the spear. I know the spear is technically... I'm just gonna check this one more time. I know the spear, of course, has an advantage because it's a lot quicker, but... Damn, there's just like no comparison. So where does this asshole run off to? Because he must run somewhere. Really strange. Oh, there you are. This guy does like a little trick, somehow. Sneaky, sneaky. Hey, nice. Royal Greatsword. God, this game has so many weapons. You know, I was praising the horizon line in this game before. Actually, looking at this, I kind of take that back. This doesn't look that good. <laughs> at least it doesn't look better than the weird one in Dark Souls 3. So, never mind about that. Oh, shit. The cliff edge. What the shit? You just fly off. Cliff Edge is our number one enemy, as always. So, um, was I saying? Yeah, the Horizon Line isn't that good in this game as well. So, in terms of weapon choice, this game is absolutely insane. I think this this game has to have the most weapons out of all the main games in the series. What the hell is going on with the Dragdoll physics? Just absolutely crazy how many weapons you have and how much choice you have, which I really like, even though, you know, most of the weapons do end up falling into the same two or three categories. Um, well, no, it's more than two or three. I think there's like 10 or 15 categories of weapons, but, you know, most of the short swords, this is Lucatil, most of the short swords have the same moveset. Um, it's just how it is. But just the fact that you have the options and weapons to choose from really opens up, you know, the builds. I am so happy that they put this enemy here instead of the Flexal Sentry. That's one of the changes. That was a Scholar change, right? I think so. Holy f fucking hell. That is a lot of damage. So seriously, there's no bonfire here? That's really, like... I don't know, man. So yeah, having a flex cell sentry here is a motherfucker. Even though I don't even remember where this enemy normally is. What a strange moveset. Guy, you have a lot of HP. You can just die. Yeah, if there is no bonfire here, this is gonna be a bitch to get through. I'm hoping there's a little surprise waiting for us in one of these cells. And you know what type of surprise I'm looking for. What up? I'm just gonna take this. An absolutely useless fire seed. As in, I'm not going for pyromancies. It's just that Avalyn. I need to, like, not forget to pick up the Avalyn when we get to it. Because you gotta have that Ishin machine gun. What would this build be without that? Oh, hey, an actual full summon. Ziegbert. Of course it's Ziegbert. Who else would it be? So yeah, apparently there is no bonfire here. That's re... Spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Never mind. I take back whatever I said. Um, to be fair fair play to the mod makers because this is one of the more annoying runbacks in the game 
Um, I wonder if they did anything to the nice white spear. I wonder if they did anything to the um, iron keep bonfire situation because you know this game is actually really good with the bonfire placements I'd say most of the time the two examples that really stick out is this place right here and the other one is of course the the iron keep so here is the dilemma um, it's not really a dilemma but I do have to go back and oh shit that's what I was gonna say I was gonna say I wonder if that fucker respawns and of course it does because if I wanna advance her quest line I need to summon Lucatil and I kinda wanna because it's been ages since I've done Lucatil's quest line that was the biggest fucking fail So yeah, I haven't done Lucatil's questline in a really long time. Come on. Yes. Kind of. Kind of, yes. That didn't deal nowhere near as much damage as I thought it would. Kind of base slap. Can it can this thing even come up here? I don't think so. Cool. I do have radiant life gems, which I like tend to never use, so good opportunity. There should be one more. By the way, how's everybody doing? Um, I know I always say that like I'm streaming, but it's been a while since I've recorded. It's just, you know, Christmas preparations. And the thing is, we usually do uh, like a big family get-together during the three days and this year it's being held at our house so we have like a lot of relatives coming so there's quite a bit of prep you know just cleaning getting stuff you know how it is before Christmas slash whatever you celebra celebrate I can't even talk So, that's what's been, like, occupying me. Hello there, two pyromancers. Look until you can take care of this, right? Like, you're gonna be... Whoa, okay. Heavy-handed approach. Okay, you're really weak. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck off. If you push Lucatil in, she's not, not even taking damage. What the hell? Why is she so strong? Are you kidding me? Is she like literally not taking... <laughs> Damn. She's buff as hell. Why Why is that happening? Like I've, I've noticed this before. Uh, Lucatil, you are mega buff. Respect. Uh, we'll use lightning. I don't know if lightning is actually the good one, but we'll use lightning. I don't, definitely not dark. Gross. But cool. This is like the cool type of reference. Not the like really heavy handed one. This is a good boss. As in, it's a good boss design-wise and idea-wise. It's not the uh, the most interesting gameplay-wise. Luke Teal, thank you. It's just she's just straight up not taking damage. She ain't doing jack shit either. Hey, okay, okay, she's doing stuff. I was like, what the fuck. There's no way she can die in this fight. Like, did you see how much damage she's taken so far? 
There is zero chance she can actually get killed here. Plus she can heal, I think. Okay, fuck, this is Dark Souls 3. I mean 2. Yeah, I don't know what Dark Souls I'm playing. Okay, just be careful here, boy. I keep getting clipped by her sword. She's not doing jack shit either, that's... The thing, though. That's her grab, wasn't it? Or her parry. She's like a bunch of weird moves. <laughs> She's just standing there. Talk about a tank. It's like... We're playing World of Warcraft. She's the tank, and I'm the... I don't know what the fuck I am. She was definitely not this strong. Right in the vanilla game? Or maybe I just forgot, because I don't do summoning too often. I know I'm summoning for a lot of bosses, but... Bro, when you give me, like, interesting summons... Thanks, Lucatil. Um... It tempts me. Plus, I again, I want to do her quest line. Cool. Lucatil, as always. Okay. This. Sh oh, if this was a mimic, that would that would have been great. <laughs> nice. I was just about to complain that we haven't been getting flash shards for so long. Uh. So thank you for fixing that game. Let's go back. The real question here is where do I want to go next? Hmm, I really don't know. She really likes taking off that hood, doesn't she? Cool. It's quite a few levels. Uh, let's get this up to 10. Yeah, something like this. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's... Yeah, let's have a look at Earthen Peak and Iron Keep. That's the real... That's what I'm interested in. I am interested in seeing what the hell they did with these areas. Okay, what's a soul I'm definitely... Oh yeah, the shard. Never gonna need. Never gonna need the soul of the last giant. Because I need... I need cash money for upgrading my weapons. A reinforced weapon... Do I want to go with the Uchigatana? It probably won't matter as we... Go down the line. Because you get so many upgrade stones in this game. It doesn't even matter. I think we're okay for now. Because there are some interesting katanas, but I think just going for the standard Uchi. No. No, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going for the standard Uchi because that's like... It's like such an Ishin weapon, you know, just to have like a basic katana. I'm still trying to go for the cosplay here. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten. Cool. No, please do the upgrade. And I think we also need souls to move the gate or whatever with Lycia. Yeah. I don't remember how much that costs. But whatever. What up, Ziegbert? Another thing I can check is whether he has new shit. I think you have to start buying from him for him to start talking more things, but I don't know, man. Let's get falconer boots, because that looks cool. The helmet, even though I'm not going to need it. And this, I do like this helmet. Because he actually picks up some fairly good things. Alright, let's head to... 
let's see how she's just right there. I, I almost said I'm going to cut, but that would have been a little bit pointless. Okay, how much do you need? Where is the wind coming from? She's constantly farting, isn't she? Okay, it's just 2k. 2k ain't too bad. It's like lighting up to a constant, like, long fart. And that's what's blowing. What I'm guessing. We go for... Uh, we definitely go for the non-juvenile stuff here on Mr. Sketchhead. YT.com slash Mr. Sketchhead. May the power of miracles be with you. Cool. So this area, this first area here, the shaded woods, is sort of meh. Actually, this whole path is sort of meh, but I'm just super curious if they actually manage to do anything with the Iron Keep. All we hear is the little footsteps. Still though, I love this game so much, like unbelievably so. Huntsman's Coves, that's what it's called, yeah. It's just this this I feel like this is really like my game my game in a sense that I just really enjoy playing it plus you guys seem to be liking the, liking this mod as well because obviously this game has st oh shit has stuff you can improve on and it looks like they seized the opportunity now this is a good skybox though or less like background I'm not gonna shit on them from this for this one not that Dark Souls 3 doesn't have good ones either like I know your tricks Irithyll being uh, oh hello there this is unexpected. And I got your bra. Now that is a buff ass. Oh fuck. I guess that's kind of Ishin e to be this buff, but no. The real like valuable part of that set is the hood. The hood looks so good and it matches with so many things. It's definitely something you want to go for. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, thank you. They are... They are too kind. They are too kind. If you didn't know... That is like the most annoying thing. Item to get. And it's not even anything valuable. Uh, because jumping in this game is god awful. Ferris is Lockstone. And that leads back to. Yeah. You can go there and. There's a secret door, and I have no idea what's there, down there actually. It's a little bit weird, I know, to have a ladder propped up against a like a knocked over tree hey weirder things have happened in the soul series just don't question it oh fucking hell that was quick the only thing that's shitty about this is i only have one no fucking okay i'm so fucked I 
I'm so screwed. Come on, open. Jesus. That's unexpected. Can I just stabby stabby you in the face? Are you too stupid? I think he's too stupid. Hey. If there's an exploit, I'm using it to my advantage. Especially since this is kind of a dick area. When you think about it. Oh, okay. I say that's slightly disappointing. Just slightly. We won't complain for free shit though. So this episode has been like... Cut free I think basically. Uh, we've been... Before I accidentally use it. Let's just demonstrate that I don't know how to work the menus of this game. But still, we gotta go for a bit longer here because I want to get to a decent bonfire. Okay, there's another one. Up to her tricks. Damn. Talk about tricks. And not the serial. Not to start the serial conversation again. I think that's a that's a conversation that's been beaten into the ground by myself. Fuck off. So I'm thinking, isn't there a bonfire here somewhere down here? No, that's further on up the road. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, we'll go and get there. Because I feel like if I cliff hung you right here, that would be a dick move. See, as you can see, sometimes you can really like observe the damage specific weaknesses or damage type specific weaknesses that certain enemies have. Like, normally my spear is on paper weaker. Oh, that's such a dick move. Oh, I... Yeah, this is still Scholar of the First Sim. There it is, the bong fire. And he's human. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't know the Forlorn Sword has like a yellow... Uh, not... God, I'm stupid today like a reddish tint to it or is that just added to this game I've never used the forlorn equipment that actually looks pretty dope this is why katanas were broken in pvp boys listen you're dealing with a pro pvp'er Get on my level. Let's hit up the bonfire too. And I gotta check out who the hell this is. A best the Punisher. Is that they renamed Abyss Fever? Abyss Fever? Damn. Bad bad brownie points for that. Abyss Fever was the best named NPC in the entire game. What the hell? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do here is start slowly wrapping up the episode. I gotta check out what this is too. <laughs> I'm gonna get killed. Um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tales of Drang Lake. It was a problem-free episode. No audio issues, no recording issues, everything is just working out fine. 
If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will hope to catch all of you in the next episode. Take care and peace out.